Yo, what's happening? It's your boy Papa Duck, man. Very important video, man. Please share this video. And I want to bring something to everybody's attention. The globalists, the people that's running the world, the government, the ones at the top. Something should be done to what they've done to us. Our fucked up education that comes from them. They force this education on us, right? This poor education so that we can therefore, and later, later on in life, be controlled by them. This is when you let the person that create the problem give you the solution. Something should be done about that. The school systems, right, that they created. And I told y'all one million times, Rockefeller put a lot of money behind this curriculum so that he can control them. Why? Because his favorite quote is, I wanna create a world full of workers, not thinkers. Something should be done to them for this shit. You have to understand everything you know came from them. And if you think that I'm blind, ask yourself, who told you what an apple is? Who told you that an apple tastes like this? They did. Not only that, they should be responsible for our poor education when it comes to religion. Everything you know about religion... It's only two types of people. Those who research it for themselves and those who let other people tell them what religion is. So now, when you forfeit researching for yourself, you become what they call herding, like a herd. You become a part of the herd. And when you become a part of the herd, not just for religious purposes, but for anything, when you join a herd because everybody's doing this and you join that, you forfeit the right to find out yourself so you throw away all your personal beliefs for the herd you see how powerful that is they told you god was white they gave you the picture no one knows where the picture come from no one knows um basically pretty much nothing when it comes to religion it is all written so complex most folks don't even understand. Most folks don't know it's written in the, it, the, the theology is written in parables, symbolisms, allegories. Most folks don't even know what that is. But they the one gave it to you. This is why I don't really fault people as much because you was being brainwashed with a lot of things from the globalists, the ones at the top, in order for you to be controlled. I want you to understand your reality came from another motherfucker. And it don't matter what color you are. Please get off the color shit. You feel me? It don't matter. You've been, you been brainwashed like everybody else, bro. And they should be accountable for it. Something should happen to them. To take your, your, your child from pre-K up until 12th grade. Brainwash them from day one. Something should be done. Our financial situations right I'm gonna do a whole nother video on this and I saw where they were saying that in California that they was granted or they're they getting in the process of giving back reparation to blacks I think it's 240,000 that's a that's a disaster waiting to happen I'm gonna do a whole nother different video about that but when it comes to our finances these people literally literally by design right teach us nothing about this shit so therefore they can control us later in life this is when you let the person that give or create the problem you leave them in charge of the solution this shit makes no sense bro this is the main reason why they can control the world this is the main reason why people don't question nothing people really think that this is how god intended us to live this makes no sense how can they pull this off control your education tell you about the world versus you learning take all the information that they've stolen from from it from um from kemet egypt whatever you want to call it take all the information keep it to themselves use all this stuff against us and people think that god placed us here in this earth to live this way something is wrong with you or you may have not sat down and thought about what i'm saying everything you know that went in his brain came from them everything these people have fucked the world up you hear me think about it you got one life to live 
and they screwed it up. When it comes to food, same thing. Why would they keep giving us this poison? We talking about food that's been banned in other countries. Even all the way down to bubble gum. Look it up. Bubble gum. Chewing gum is banned in other countries. But it can come here. Mountain Dew. Banned in other countries. But it can come here. GMOs. Banned in other countries. But it can come here. I told y'all. America. Business is your father. Religion is your mother. These are the main two pillars that control your entire life. And not just yours. We're talking your children, your mothers, your aunties, all your loved ones. This comes from a group of motherfucking satanic people, right? And I'm, I'm, I'm using my words carefully. A group of satanic people that want you to live based off their agendas. This is, this is, this is like the 10th power of fuckery. You've been duped. You've been brainwashed. You've been hustled. You've been all the above out of your life. Your one fucking life. Your one life has been compromised by a group of people that want to own and control everything. And a damn motherfucker woke up and said, you know what? We need to get together because we all have a common enemy. This is why I talk about this so much. All you people on your high horse and think because you make over 100000 a year and you living great. Living great is based off what they say living great is. Steve Jobs died with billions of dollars. You call that living great? You got people that's in the, in, in, in the Caribbean islands, right? The ones who have a little culture left because America just screwed you with culture. America, if I saw, I piss on America's grave because of what they've done to us as people. From drugs, the fentanyl, and all this, man, this is a fucking massacre, bro. The people in Caribbean islands, like I just said, right? Just because you make over 100000 a year, you got a nice house, big house, clothes, you got cars, that's the that's living great for, compared to what they said. But then you get sick eating this shitty food or something happened to you in America that they designed to happen to you, right? Along your way of living great, you got some people in the islands who ain't got no big house, but they living great. They don't have the luxuries of pulling up in restaurants, but they living great. And you have to understand just as well as I do. You got to redefine living great. These people don't get sick. These people ain't told what to do. Just like the Indians. Why you think they don't want the Indians around? Why you think they want to take everybody from the Indians, the Amish, everybody else, and convert them to Europeans? The modern way of living. Because the way that they live didn't comply with the agendas that they have. The Indians didn't need roads. The Indians didn't need supermarkets. The Indians didn't need hospitals. They didn't need none of that shit, so it didn't comply to them. But they will raise us up to be afraid of everything. People will literally take a fucking pill that they created from the same herb that an herbalist will try to give to you. Makes no fucking sense. It's called a sublimate. Why would you take the, ori the original plant, herb, the real deal, let them make a supplement off it so that they can make money and they never treat the real problem, they just treat the symptoms. People, you got to start waking up. This shit is starting to be so dumbfounded to it's like, I'm to the point, those who want to be dumb and crazy and want to continue to go over there. Those of us who want to change things and understand and really move forward, Cause time is not stopping. Let's move over here. And the ones who's making us live this way, who's creating this society for us, right? Who's putting us in this environment to be compromised. Let's go find them motherfuckers. Half on that's still walking around. All you niggas talking about your ops and all that and this and that. Why y'all don't go get, go get them? Why y'all don't go get them? You rather shoot another person that ain't got nothing to do with your life, the person that don't got your mama or your daddy working 30 days paying bills, ain't got nothing to do with nothing. You're ready to go do something to them except for the motherfuckers that got us all paying taxes. Going to these, these hospitals, eating this shitty ass food. The ones that's putting fast food on every corner. Y'all don't do nothing to them. Gotta redefine everything. I redefine gangster. You ain't gangster because you shoot another motherfucker that's in the same that's in the same victimized state as you in. 
They got both of y'all dumbass in the same victimized state that both y'all in. Y'all shooting the wrong people. But this is what socialism, capitalism, Marxism, this is what all this shit does to us as a people, bro. In every country, every country, I'm going to say it for the third time, every country are all in bed with each other because they all dictate their people the same way. Wake the fuck up. Russia has a dictatorship. China, Japan, America, uh, uh, Africa, Jamaica. Are you think in Jamaica they letting all the Chinese people in? Go look it up. In Jamaica, they're about to implement uh, uh, Chinese uh, language into the schools if they haven't already done it. China is taking over Jamaica. This is not by uh, uh, coincidence. This is by design. People, you mean to tell me we that dumbfounded? We that crazy? They taught you to look up. Oh, just turn turn the other cheek. God gonna handle it. How many fucking cheeks you got? Why is it that when it comes to things, when it comes to poor people, they always want us to use belief to get us out of our our physical state of being. But the ones that's putting us in this physical state of being, they not waiting on Jesus. They not waiting on nobody. That's why I say a lot of y'all, when y'all do meet y'all maker, whoever you believe in, the first thing they're going to say, you know what they're going to say to you when you meet God or whoever you going to meet? They're going to say, I gave you dumbass common sense for a reason. Start using it. Anyway, the ones that's supposed to be, that should be held accountable for this shit are the globalists, the ones at the top, the ones that's stealing and taking and lying. And, bro, I can't believe this shit, bro. Next stop, Earth. You get put off the earth. You're going by rules you ain't had nothing to do with. Your life as you know it ain't your life. Because they control this. This is why they fight for you to go to school. The 12-step brainwash camp. This is why they say they're going to put your mama in jail if she don't take you to school to get brainwashed. They don't want thinkers. <laughs> They want people that obey, people that don't ask questions, people that just take what they say do and fucking do it. Oh, you make the best Americans. This is what Christopher Columbus funky ass said in his diary when he met up with the Indians. Oh, they just laugh. They're so kind. They give us everything we ask for. They gonna make some great servants. And they subjugated those folks, took, stole, kill and let's not forget convert to Christianity yeah you heard me right so don't get mad at me because I'm stating the facts and if you do I'm glad because I'm I'm ready to I'm ready to remove all these non-believers the people that I call lost souls, meaning it's just too late to get to you. You have been brainwashed so bad, no one, even yourself, cannot get you out of that fucked up reality that they put you in. So therefore, you need to get out of our way. I don't give a damn no more. I, you can't help everybody. Half this shit is so common sense, people still are trying to look around it instead of looking it right in the face. Come on, bro. Are you serious? What that says about you. Gotta redefine life, man. This is your one life, man. You're not gonna fight for your one life. If you don't do it for you, do it for your children. Do it for your children's children. Cause these people is on the rise of doing us so bad to a lot, a lot of this stuff, I wish I could say, and a lot of the stuff that people is not paying attention to, they not understand that these people are trying to take over the world, not just for today, but from here on. You think this AI shit just coming out of nowhere? This ain't got nothing to do with religion, bro. Don't come to me with the, oh, this was, uh, what they be saying? 
Oh, this was uh, I hate when my mind get like this. This was destined to happen. Oh, uh, dang, I just had it. Cause they always go back to biblical stuff. It'll come to me. But this is the first thing that people say. It was written. It's what the this what they, they, what they said it was gonna happen. Bro, the same people that's told you it was gonna happen are the same ones that's doing it. The same people that wrote and said, this is what's gonna happen, they the one who's doing it. Please wake up. Please wake up. Anyway, man, common sense just ain't so common no more, okay? But everybody ain't gonna understand this and it's for a reason. It's your boy, Papa Duck, man. Take what I say. Listen to what I'm saying, and, and trust me, if we don't change soon, I mean soon, it's gonna get worse. Cause the more you see this stuff go on from the police fucking over black folks, that shit been going on. All these things are gonna continue to happen, why? Because out of sight, out of mind. If they took that off your sight, they take it out of your mind. They are gonna periodically show black people getting fucked up in the, in, in the news by some motherfucking group of police. It's like watching a scary movie. You watch it, you're scared for a day or two, then it goes away like it never was there. Nope, they got to keep it on your mind. This is why it'll never be equality. They got to keep it on your mind. This is why they're going to continue to make movies like Emancipation, slavery movies. You'll never see a movie where the white people are the slaves and the black people are the slave owners. They'll never put the idea in your mind. Hollywood reject a lot of movies, right, that can and will promote Revolution that can and will show us, you know, a, a better way. But what they do, they use Hollywood to carry out their agendas. This is why the world gonna stay the way it's gonna stay. And for every time a black person buys Nikes or, and that goes for me too. I ain't gonna never exclude me. I'm just talking about period. Period. Anytime, anytime we buy things from certain companies, we're basically funding our own demise as a people. And it's not just blacks, it's whites, it's everybody. When you, even with, I, I watch movies, don't get me wrong, but I watch movies with a third eye now. And a lot of shit I don't even watch, because I know it's bullshit. Because they'll put, they love, they'll sprinkle their little, little truths in there. They have to. This is one of the, um, this is one of the rules of the cabals. I'm finna hit y'all with some knowledge. One of the rules is they have to tell you what they're gonna do to you. It's your decision. Same way like they say, smoking causes cancer, lung cancer, you still buy it. That's one of their rules. They have to still put it in your face and tell you the truth. Anyway, please share this video. You know I love y'all. I get in my feelings sometimes only because I love y'all and I love what's going on. I love what I do. I don't have to be the richest man in the world to be rich. I redefine what rich is. I redefine what a lot of things is. And I solely hope that y'all do the same thing, okay? So with that being said, man, I love y'all, man. Live y'all life peacefully. Do what makes you happy, but have an understanding of what's going on, man. And treat people kindly, because we are the ones that's being victimized. All you walking out the door don't want to speak to your neighbors, don't want to hold the door when the person walking in behind you, going into the store, all that shows, all that shows the damage that has been done to us as a people. And it's sad. Like I said, I meant for this video to be this long, but it is. All right, if you made it this far, thank you so much. Please share, and like I tell you all the time, man, in order for you to be found, you must first be lost. I love y'all. I'll let y'all in this video.